Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to another Children of Yah teaching. If you are new to this, Children of Yah is a Bible teaching series for children where I'll be posting videos on YouTube teaching about the Most High Yah and His Word, the True Word. If you listened to our last teaching, you know that it was on the Tenth Commandment. Episode 11 is entitled Jealousy. Let's get started with today's lesson. First off, let me begin by saying that jealousy begins with a seed of discontent, meaning that you are ungrateful or dissatisfied with what Yah has already blessed you with. And so, to help bring a better understanding to the topic of jealousy, we are going to read a story about Joseph and his brothers. Open up your Bible to Genesis 37, verses 2-4. through 4. I'll give you a second to find it. Okay, Genesis 37, verses 2-4 through 4 says, these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was pasturing the flock with his brothers. He was a boy with the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to their father. And Israel loved Joseph more than all of his sons, because he was a son of old age to him. And he made a coat of many colors reaching to his feet. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph's brothers hated Joseph because their father Jacob loved him the most than any of Joseph's brothers. This is a sign of jealousy because his brothers wanted to be the individual favorite to Jacob. Jealousy can cause people to break commandments. For example, the Eighth Commandment tells us to not steal. Let's say that you have a friend that has an iPhone that's brand new and you've always wanted it, but couldn't afford to buy it for yourself. And to make things worse, you notice that having this iPhone has made your friend the most popular kid in the school. You become jealous because of all the attention she's getting. So when she's not looking, you steal her iPhone out of her backpack. This is jealousy. You were willing to betray a friend because you were envious of something she had. You have coveted. Here's one more example. Let's just say that you and your friend auditioned for different parts of a play at school, and you see the results, and you didn't get the part you wanted, but your friend did get the part they wanted. After you see that your friend got the part they wanted and not you, then you start acting different around your friend as if you're mad at them for something mean they did. This is a sign of jealousy because instead of being a supportive friend, you were angry because she got the part she wanted in the play and you didn't. That's not being a, a friend. True friends are not jealous of, me, of one another. Do you remember our lesson on the 10th commandment, which is you shall not covet? Did you know that the root to envy and jealousy is coveting? In case you forgot, I want to play a quick clip on how coveting causes us to commit just about every sin mentioned in the Bible. We'll be right back. Like I, for me in my own life, I know that I, I can, I can really covet other people's things because, well, I've, I've got this, this friend at school, his name is Winston and his dad is so rich. They have so much money. Winston's always coming to school. He's got so much cool stuff. Like, like Winston, Winston has his own phone and you might not think that's that cool, but, but he's got a watch phone. So if somebody calls him on the phone, he can answer it on his watch. Like he's in some sort of like spy movie or something and, and he's always got the best games and he's got all these awesome toys and his dad comes and picks him up in a sports car and he's man i just i always i i want i want winston's stuff all the time man i went to his house and i was like well i gotta have this house he's got a bowling alley in his house yeah, that's just, that's crazy to me. And, and I'm always looking at stuff like, oh, I wish I was Winston. I want this stuff. But, but that's not good. No, God does not want us to do that. God wants us to be grateful for what we have. He doesn't want us, he doesn't want us being jealous of what other people have. Jealousy is not of Yah. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 says, Love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. Did you hear that? You can't love someone and be jealous of them at the same time. Jealousy is caused by being insecure and thinking that Yah isn't providing us with everything we need. Thus, being envious and jealous of others is usually a sign that something deep down within us needs to be fixed as ignoring it will only make it worse. 
Jealousy can lead to harmful actions such as stealing, lying, or hitting our brothers in our hearts without a reason, which is a sin. Remember, Cain killed his brother Abel, and as we just read, Joseph's brothers threw him in a pit and sold him into slavery. So here are the four steps to overcoming jealousy. Number one, repent and ask God to cleanse your heart from everything that is not of him. If necessary, pray and fast to get rid of evil thoughts. Number two, do not look at what others have and be grateful for all that Yah has blessed you with. Number three, rejoice in the good things that happens to our brothers, as Yah knows what we need before we ask and he supplies all of our needs according to his plans. Number four, love your neighbor as yourself, for this is the second greatest command. So, what do we learn? Today we learned all about the root of jealousy and how it can cause people to break commandments like the eighth commandment in stealing something that's not yours or the 10th commandment in coveting, where jealousy can cause you to want something that is in the possession of someone else. Don't let yourself become jealous because jealousy can cause you to do terrible things. If this teaching blessed you, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. This is Children of Yah signing off. Thank you for listening. Shabbat Shalom.